Okay, uh, on the LS swap into an 03 Ranger, we've now got the motor in. What we had to do is we had to roll back the rear suspension mounts and I'll weld those up later and make them look nice. This is just all for mock-up. We might even put a little dent in the header. Um, also, you know, we did lower the rack and pinion just an inch. I don't think that's going to hurt with any bump steer problems. But what that did is that made it so we have a little bit of gap in between the rack and pinion and the, the uh, engine. That way we got it down low, low enough. The other thing we did was I notched out for the compressor on the frame and I, I made a piece to put in there. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be needing it. So we should be okay. Um, I'll weld it back in or I'll probably just put the notch in uh, around the suitcase. You can see with the headers we use. Um, I can lower the front of the motor like a half an inch. So it's right under there. Remember that that uh, this metal sheathing has about a half inch play behind it. So I think once I lower the motor a little bit more, we'll have a little bit better clearance. And you can see down in there that the header's just tapping that. So we'll, we'll round that out a little bit. Um, but otherwise, we're looking really good. As far as the front, I think we're going to have plenty of room for a nice radiator. And... I'll give you a little idea what it looks like from the bottom. At the 4L60 Trance, it's been built to a 4L65. Uh, with these headers, they come right down and they clear the frame on that side and they'll clear the frame on this side. Um, the suspensions, uh, the, the frame's close to the, uh, to the tranny here, which we could grind that off a little bit on the tranny um, just to give it maybe a half inch um, but as far as everything else it looks like it fits nice the stock cross member went back in and I have a block of wood there now but it looks like the stock cross member is gonna fit and even it even has a hole in the middle that might actually go right into the single bolt um, so we're actually looking good right now um, but as far as the rest of it I'm actually, we're both in amazement on how well this is going to fit. I used a uni universal LS motor mount, which I've got the pieces, you just got to cut them to length and then I'll weld those in. Then the motor will come straight out on the top. But as far as that, this car is going much easier than we planned. Um, so, so far so good. This is for the mock-up. We'll, we'll send more pictures when we pull it out and we weld everything up. But um, so far, so good.